Hey everybody! How are ya? How's it going? I'm Heather. I'm Director of Education here at Luminous. Guys, I'm here each and every day for you. We're here at 10 and 11 while we're while we're doing some uh, videos uh, later in the afternoon. Uh, but yeah, this is a way that you can come on. You can ask me questions. You're going to see how it's done. If you're a Luminous Beauty, you can share these videos so you can show potential customers how it's done how to airbrush and we're going to go straight through it. So I've already prepped my face. I actually have, um, the, the scrub on, um, my lips right now. I went ahead and did that. So I'm going to scrub that in. Hey, Crystal, how are you? Um, and so now I'm going to wipe that off. It tastes so good. <laughs> hey, Dawn. So you can tell my description. I'm like, how do you do your makeup when you can't breathe? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I actually don't feel good. It's just stuffed up, stuffed up. And my ears itch. Um, good morning. Good morning, Peggy. I'm going to move this so I can see it. Yay, Sherry finally got to see us live. Yay. Yeah, the lip scrub is amazing. Um, don't eat it. I'm not telling you to eat it. Oh, Jen is in Canada, eh? Um, Jana is from Canada. Um, and we always make fun of how she says things. <laughs> good morning, Melissa. Good morning, good morning. We have a lot of people on. That's awesome. And so, yes, with Luminous, it's kind of amazing because, and those of you who have been using Luminous for a while, um, you know that, like, if you do, God forbid, not how would, if you do get sick, people are like, really you're sick come on and you're like no i'm just luminous you can't tell like if i took this off you would know um and so that's what we're gonna fix today um i can't breathe uh and so um and i sound with my deep voice my deep sexy voice um and so we are going to work on looking amazing um and I would say, you know, like sometimes, oh, Montreal, Montreal, Montreal. Um, you know how when you're sick, you feel like you have to pile the makeup on? And that's not necessarily true with Luminous. You're still using the same amount. It just covers better. Um, and it gives you that flawless look without having to pile it on. So I am going to use our regular concealers, our traditional concealers, and um, a concealer brush. So I just put it on my hand to kind of warm it up. Um, and notice that I'm not using a lot, guys. I'm not having to use a lot at all. <coughs> now I'm going to take my blender and blend that in get right underneath my eyes notice i don't drag i don't pull on it i'm just blotting da, 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 da. hello savannah how are you y'all can give me words to say like luke i am your father that sounded like i'll be back <laughs> hey connie how are you So I actually am going to try to do videos today. I uh, have to fake it. <laughs> I'll just have them. Maybe I'll have, I'll have to do silent videos. <laughs> I can do videos that I don't have to talk. But guys, you saw how much I used. I did not use a lot at all. Happy Tuesday. Today is Tutu Tuesdays. My daughter wears tutus on Tuesdays. We had to name days because you would wear them every day. All right. So that's nice and blended in. Yeah, I got something going on. It's just my sinuses. Sinuses are a killer. But the EpiPot, it's disgusting. But it's amazing. Yeah. <clears throat> that, I'm taking, I'm doing that. I'm doing... Alka Seltzer, cold relief, daytime. I'm drinking vitamin C 
and um, what's that? Musinex. That usually helps. Um, but I have to make sure I drink like this much water because that dries you, dries you out. All right. Did I put it on my? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll wake up now. I'm going to powder underneath just a little. Okay. Now I'm going in and I'm going to use my shade three. That's the XL that I used yesterday. And so I'm going to shake it up. I just want to be able to breathe. Is that too much to ask? All right. So I'm going to put a couple of drops. I'm going to put about five drops in my stylus. And guys, again, if you're starting to airbrush, get it out. Play with it. Have fun with it. Um, put water in here. Put the cap on and just spray your face with water and just have fun. Find out what happens when you pull all the way back on the trigger. Find out what happens when you're like, mm, when you're like little bitty. So play with it and just experiment with it. The more you have this in your hand, the more you're going to learn and the more you're going to love it. I won't be able to sing today. <laughs> Catherine Turner. Yeah, Kathleen Turner. <coughs> yes. I like my sexy voice. Although I, I, what was it on the Friends episode when um, Phoebe had that cold and um, she had the best singing voice and she was singing Smelly Cat. Smelly Cat, Smelly Cat. All right. So when I'm getting to airbrushing, I want to make sure I'm four finger widths away. I want to keep moving and then barely pull back on the trigger. That's what you're going to work on is the barely pulling back. So if it is enhancing wrinkles and crinkles, if it feels wet when you're done, if it feels uh, sticky when you're done, if it enhances um, pores, that kind of thing, check one of those three issues. Maybe you're pulling back too far. Maybe you're not moving. Maybe um, you're too close. So look at those things. Maybe you're making your maybe you're making too many passes too quick you know with the coverage it's about making passes so maybe you need a little more time in between until you get that, that timing down like <clears throat> i normally start at the forehead work myself around go t-zone so make sure you are going around and covering those areas um i had the concealer and now i'm, I'm going i don't have to go all the way up but i'm going up to it so I can make sure to um, to kind of uh, blend that out. Hey Meg, how are you? And I'll do blend down my chin. And there we go, I think that is good. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to powder right now. Um, somebody was talking about um, airbrush, <coughs> airbrush eyeshadow. So I want to look at that real quick. Um, the other thing I want to do is blush because blush is, is something we don't do a lot of. Um, so I'm going to use the plum blush. Let's see what this is. <coughs> shake all this up oh that's the amber um where is my blush i mean my um <laughs> uh let's do the rose gold i use the rose gold um i'm gonna use blush i don't know if i want to use the the new one um the new catalog one will, the new product. So, Melissa, it just depends. I mean, um, <laughs> they just went out of my hand. Um, that we have different releases. Um, most of it, I'm trying to think, most of it will be for next year. Um, so, we'll definitely make an announcement when new products are being released for sure. Oh, yay, Jen's still doing that, playing with them too. What is this one? Oh, this is the natural blush. So we'll do natural blush. 
And then I'm going to do rose gold luminizer, but I'm going to do it on my eyes. Um, now, I will tell you, if you are new to airbrushing, a secret that you can do, one of my uh, uh, hacks, my beauty hacks, is because our blush is so high pigmented, um, especially if you're using like the, the soft rose, the tulip, the plum, those kind of things, they two drops is all you need. Even if you're like, no, Heather, I love blush. Two drops. It intensifies once it completely dries. So what you could do is do your blush first and then airbrush the foundation on over it. Um, that helps you blend it. So if you do get heavy handed is what I call it, if it gets to be too much and you're like, I look crazy, then you can, you're airbrushing the foundation on over and it blends it. I talked about that for a long time and then I started doing it and I actually like it better because it is more of a blended look. However, this I'm using the natural blush on this one. You know what I might put, I don't know. I was going to put a little bit of the plum in there. Um, just to tweak the color. Because that's the other great thing about Luminesce is you can mix anything. I'm going to just put one drop of plum. <clears throat> and then, so I'm not too, too natural. I'm mixing that together. And that's how you mix. I put both products in there. The system's on. Air's going out. Block it. And pull back. All right, so now going in, and I want the apples of the cheek and then move back. Now, because I'm doing blush, <coughs> because, because I'm doing blush, I'm going to move in a little closer. Foundation, you want to be about four finger widths away, but because I'm doing blush, I can come in a little bit more and make that movement first before you pull back on the trigger. And I can feel it that it's going on. You can also hear it. Hey, Debbie. So with the blush, you want to get it to where it's almost to where you want it. You're like, uh, almost. I'm going to stop because it does intensify. So you'll see that this is going to come out even a little bit more. So blowing the rest of that out. And then now I'm gonna take the road, hi Bonnie. <coughs> now I'm gonna take the rose gold luminizer. And I'm gonna spray it on my hand so you can see how beautiful this is. Can y'all see that? Look how beautiful that, the concealer, this is concealer, but see that shimmer? I love that. Um, all right, now I'm gonna do it on my eye. Now, I will tell you, as soon as I get this eye, I get the shakes, because I don't know why it tickles this eye for some reason. All right, <laughs> so I'm gonna come in even closer because I'm doing eyeshadow, and I wanna get it right on my lid. So this is when you wanna concentrate on exactly where that air is going. Um, also, nothing is going to be released until you pull back on the trigger, but it's the same movement you're making if I was doing regular eyeshadow. So hold your airbrush the same way, hold it like a pen, come in a little closer. I'm making this, <laughs> that always tickles me, making that movement. And it's just on this side that it does that. Back and forth. Now, <clears throat> I could feel it coming out. Dad, give it. Hold on. I could feel it coming out, but I'm going to switch to the other side. I'm still going to add more, but this is that, you know how I always tell you that making passes gives you more coverage? Well, making passes is going to intensify the color, too. So when you get to the airbrush eyeshadow or you're doing stuff on your eyes, I like Terrific Tuesday. You can go back and forth. See how beautiful that is? It's just a nice... Hey, Moosey, how are you, girl? 
see how it's just a nice shimmer now what's great about luminous and hold on i'm gonna wipe all this off on my hand um and because you're like oh do i need to do everything airbrush no you don't and that's what i love about it i've missed you girl good to see you um what i love about it is the fact that you can it's not all or nothing so you don't have to do everything airbrush you can do um you know some regular makeup you even here if i got that on my lid i can even come back in with a um regular eyeshadow and do that in my crease um if you, if i wanted to so there's a lot you can do with it i'm going to try to find a color that i can do in my crease maybe this one yeah here's a brown so i'll show you how um we missed you, Muzi. I was thinking about you this morning. This is shade 41. I'm going to add one more drop. <clears throat> and I'm only using like two drops. And I'm going to press that. And now there's air coming out. Now, again, I'm going to concentrate on where I feel the air. So I just did my lid. Now I'm going to do the crease. So I'm coming in even closer making my movement, barely pulling back on the trigger. You can already see it. Now switching to this side. <clears throat> it came back, girl. Well, this is a cold. I had walking pneumonia and I probably still had it, but this is sinus lovely sinus now the great thing about because you might be looking at me going oh heck to the no there's no way i could do that but the great thing about this is the fact that you can put this on and i'm going to show you so let's say i put this on and you're like oh my gosh that doesn't look right take a brush and just blend it now you need to do it pretty quickly because it does dry super fast. Hey, Patricia. But see how you can blend that? Same thing over here. If I get too much or I'm like, what? You can still go in. There's no mistakes, guys. You can still go in and correct it. It's going to have that stain power. <clears throat> of, of airbrush like airbrush lasts so long our eyeshadow it also lasts just as long and i can blend that out easy enough everybody can do it right i know you can so now i can go in and i'm going to take let's take this one ginger no let's go let's make a Let's make a statement shall we um let's go in with the dark <clears throat> hey dawn so i'm gonna go in with um i'm just gonna go in with the black one um blackout <coughs> and i'm going to just add that little bump to it and I'm going to do that just right in the crease, right over my airbrush. Okay. Just right there to get a little, <coughs> a little drama, mama. Hey, Amber. This was drama. And then I can go in. I'm going to go in with an angled brush and do it underneath. Yay, Jen just got her click and plays. That's what I'm using right now. I love the click and plays. There we go. And I just lined with blackout. That's amazing. 
but can you see how the blush came up just a little bit just a little um oh yay <clears throat> and you can i can finish it off with even if i wanted to do a little bit of contouring i could do that as well on top of what i already have um Now, because this is natural blush, yes, girl, I can't get rid of it. I don't need a lot of contour because of the natural blush. It It's similar to a contour color, so I don't have to worry about that too much. And then I'm going to take the neutral vinyl, the vinyl slick. And then Patricia, we, we probably will, uh, we're reformulating a lot of them. And since we did come out with, <clears throat> with the click and play and all, so many, we have more people doing the traditional eyeshadow. But also remember, you can use <clears throat> the luminizers. Amber is beautiful on the lid. You can use blushes. The plum blush is really pretty on the lid as well. So make sure she gets those. And there you go. So <clears throat> at the 11, I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm, I'll probably add some lashes. Uh, or maybe mascara. I don't know. What will I do? Who knows? It'll be a surprise. Um, and I'm going to add some uh, powder too, just to see. I don't have any shimmer on, so maybe I add some shimmer or maybe I just highlight. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. So there you go. All right, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. I will see you back very soon. We'll be back at 11. Um, and I'll see you all in just a few. All right. Bye for now.